everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a really fun video. I am going to be trying on and doing my first impressions and review of the Nikki Tutorials Power of Makeup Palette from Too Faced. And basically, I did a haul video showing you a bunch of palettes that I recently got. The link will be right up there, as well as doing my Kylie Kai Shadow Palette Review also, the link up there. And check those out if you want to see more of the palettes. If you open it up, this is the palette. It's gorgeous. I love how it has eyeshadows and contour blush and highlight in one palette and also two colors of blushes. I feel like a lot of the makeup palettes out there, they don't have the correct shades that you need and I really imagine myself having this on the go when I'm traveling just because it's so slim, look at that, and easy. It's kind of like a book, which is really nice. Along with the palette, you also get a sketch marker, and this is the new eyeliner from Too Faced. You also get the Better Than Sex Mascara. This one happens to be in purple, actually. And you also get a Too Faced shadow insurance, which I don't even know where it is now. And the last thing you get is and literally Glamour Dust from Too Faced, and this one is beautiful. The palette, however, I think could have been a little bit more balanced. You know, girls, I am a neutral girl so I don't really wear really bright purples or blues out the door but I do like experimenting when I'm in my whole room set up thing and I, I kind of wish there was a few more natural colors I love these three products which I already have the full-size versions I really like it because these are my favorites and they're in the palette so along with the palette you also get a Nikki tutorials glamour guide it's like this little booklet of Tutorials that Nikki Tutorials has put together. There are three looks in total, so I thought it would be fun to actually do all three looks and show you guys what Nikki Tutorials kind of makeup looks like on an Asian kind of face. Alright, the first look I'm gonna go for is Glitter is the New Black. And Nikki Tutorials is known for glitter, highlight, all things shimmery. My first thing I'm gonna go in, this is my primer. I can't find the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. So I'm using this primer from Palladio. And then we have to emphasize the crease in outer corners of the eyes with Mystic Hour. Blend out outer edges with Pain Killer. Okay, so I'm gonna take my brush and I'm going into um, Mystic Hour, which is this gorgeous, gorgeous blue color. Taking it on the tip of my brush, applying it from my lash line into my socket. So Mystic Hour turns out to be a beautiful blue shimmery color. So Painkiller is this beautiful matte brown. The eyeshadows are to no surprise. They're easily blendable, pigmented, and I am a big fan of Too Faced, so yeah, I mean, what do you expect when you're using Too Faced makeup, basically? Definitely not a look I've tried before. Alright, step two, add Frosted Yum to the center of my lids. So I need to go with Frosted Yum. So I'm just going to pop this in the center of my eyelids. It's beautiful, look at that. Okay. After that, use both Makeup and Chill and Wanted and press onto the lower lash line for a smoky feel. This, and then it says go in with Wanted, so I'm thinking you mix both Makeup and Chill and Wanted together. Wow, I'm killing it today. This is nice. Okay, so now for the most exciting part, it's time for the glitterly glamour dust. It's like all glitter, guys. Look at this. So I'm gonna take the dust like this. It's so pretty. It's actually just flowing everywhere. And I'm gonna press it onto my. Oh my goodness, that's so beautiful. Do you see that? Wow. This dust is legit. I need to get on this glitter game. Oh, it's so pretty. I have glitter all over my face, but it's okay. I'm amazed how it just kind of sticks to your eye. Like it doesn't, you know, feel like it's running around and everything. Which is quite nice. And she's not going to put on any eyeliner. Okay. So I'm going to grab Chocolate Soleil to contour. And I'm taking this. So Chocolate Soleil, I've used like a hip pan on it. I mean, it's like a pretty standard, you know, well-known contouring product. Both blushes to get a customized blush. So I'm mixing this peach and this pink together. I think this look is a little dramatic for me. <laughs> like it might suit other features, but it's a little dramatic. I highlight the cheekbones. 
to highlight the cheekbones with champagne truffle. I'm going to highlight my cheekbones. I put a little bit more than usual. I know, forgive me the front part, it's just not working out for me. Overall, not too bad at all. I'm very surprised because I never do my makeup this way. And I love the glitter, like I love how it looks on my eyes. It's beautiful, this glitter shimmer thing. If you can get your hands on it without it being this kit, it's really, really nice. Like I actually want to find more colors and experiment more. Go big or go goth. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is gonna be hard. I don't even have black lipstick, so I'm gonna have to improvise. Softly diffuse painkiller into the crease and highlight the inner corners with ivy. There is glitter all over my palette right now from the first look. So now I'm gonna be taking ivy, which is a matte, a very matte highlight and I'm applying it right into my inner corners. After Ivy, I have to create a purple liner with Wham Bam. So I'm going to be taking it with my brush. I'm going to find the lower lash line with Wham Bam too. Ugh. I hate drawing like your liner with powder because it gets in your eye. I mean it's not as sharp as she can do it but I don't know how she gets it so pigmented, but on her picture, it look, the purple looks a lot darker, but in real life, it's not that dark. All right, so I'm gonna take Sugar Coated, which is this pink shimmery shade. And pop it inside. Now, interestingly enough, I opened up the Better Than Sex Mascara that comes with this kit, and it's actually purple. It's purple, do you see this? It's purple, oh my goodness. Alright, so I'm going to take a brush and apply it. So I don't think we're going to contour, it doesn't say to. I think I put a little bit too much on my nose, I look like Rudolph, but like a brighter version of Rudolph. And the last thing is to make your lips black. Now I don't have a black lipstick, so I'm going to do something crazy, I'm going to use eyeliner. <laughs> so I'm using the Too Faced Sketch Marker. I'm crazy. What am I doing with art? It's like shiny, so you guys like black leather feel. It really looks like black leather lips. Like if I were to think, I think Kylie, Kylie has this lip kit with, I don't know what it's called, like Dead of Night or something like that. And I think this is what it would look like. Oh, look at this. I feel like I could use like a leather jacket or something or something really gothic. Really gothic, which I'm totally not, like, at all. <laughs> I'm like the opposite of gothic. Anyway, we have the purple liner for my eyes, and we have the black lipstick. Like, it's more like a line stick. All right, the last look is the Once Upon a Glam. It's kind of this fairy tale, neutral, natural look that I, you know, you know me, I'm comfortable with. So I can't wait to do this look, and let's get started. Anyway, I'm gonna go in with Pain Killer which is this matte brown. All right, I'm gonna take Makeup and Chill. And then into my socket a bit and connect it to here. That's quite nice already, I like that. So I'm gonna pat Irresistible, which is this like Egyptian gold onto the center of my lid. It's so... Pretty. You see that? Ooh, it's like a like a light just beamed across my eye. Done. So I put it on the center of my lid. So we're gonna line the eyes next with the sketch marker eyeliner and draw the outline of the wing first and then fill it in. We meet again. Okay. Alright guys, so I've done my winged eyeliner. Taking makeup and chill now and applying that right on the waterline. Alright, so that is makeup and chill on my waterline and applying this onto my cheeks. And then the last thing is, I highlight my cheeks with Champagne and Truffle again. It makes you look flawless. All right guys, I think this is my most favorite look of all, which comes to no surprise to be honest because of what the looks I'm used to doing. But this is the Once Upon a Glam and it features more of a neutral shade 
with the lips is more coral, like Nikki Tutorials. And yeah, so that's the final kind of look. All right guys, I really hope you guys liked this video. And overall, it is a really solid palette. And I am pretty, I'm not like totally surprised by it because I am a big fan of Too Faced to be honest. And I love their eyeshadows, I love their blushes, I love everything about the brand. And I don't, it's not a surprise to me because it is still Too Faced makeup in the palette. And I really hope you guys like this video. Please share, like, and subscribe if you did. And tell me in the comment section below which palette you like best. I will see you guys in my next video and I'll see you guys later. Bye!